action on President Trump's executive order on refugees is expected in the next few days. Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz met with local Islamic leaders this evening to talk about how it's affecting our community. They gave him the push to speak up in Washington. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher was at the meeting and joins us from downtown Salt Lake City tonight. Lauren. Right, Hope and Bob, so 10 leaders from the Islamic community met with uh, Congressman Chaffetz here today, bringing up some of those obvious concerns over the travel ban as well as current climate toward Muslim immigrants. But the meeting ended on a positive note with Hope moving forward. A time to voice concerns and tell it like it is. We still brought people in, we vetted them, and there's been no issue. So I'm not sure why you're not standing the ground. A time for honest answers and making promises. I'll go back and ask. I don't know the answer to that question. Congressman Chaffetz called this meeting with the Islamic community to talk about the travel ban and what's happening on a local level and what he thinks should be happening on a federal level. I do believe that we have the necessity as a nation to protect our borders. I do think it is proper to make sure that new people coming into this country are properly vetted. Those here presented Chaffetz with stats and numbers about how the executive order could affect the country. Dr. Salman Masood says it'll have a big impact on doctors. It tells us that there are 10,000 uh, physicians from these seven countries going to be affected. Look at the ramification of this. They urge Chaffetz to push for change and be their voice. It's also on the Oversight Committee, and there needs to be some check and balance system of what is going on. Overall, a positive meeting that they hope will prove productive as the travel ban hangs in the balance. I hope our message gets through. And at that meeting today, everyone agreeing that here in Utah, the climate's a little bit different. They do feel a lot of support. They say that uh, they feel safe and secure here, but saying that uh, there definitely could be some more community outreach. And in fact, uh, Ol Hassan saying that she has started some programs where inviting people over to mosques and getting to know local refugees. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, 